The new project is the Honda. It has an oil leak. It's had an oil leak for a while now. I've just been topping it off. Um, put some cardboard down there to catch it so it's not just dripping everywhere. So we got, right now I'm still trying to debunk on where it's coming from. I took it to a car wash the other day with engine degreaser in that place. But the first one I'm going to do is going to be the easier one, which is the, I forgot what this one was called, but where the oil filter is, the seal that is on the, I guess the spout where the oil gets pumped in and out has a seal on it, so that's the first one I'm going to do. See if it's coming from there because it's the easiest one to do. If not there, I got this ring for, I believe it's for the valve, ex valve exhaust cover, I want to say it is. And if it's not that, it's a full on top valve gasket and um, yeah, top valve gasket covers, O-ring replacements, which I hope it's not that because that that one's gonna be a lot of work. See if I can find that leak. Um, I'm also doing an oil change on it. But brother-in-law right now is borrowing my jack, and so I got to use the car little puny jack. Dylan, I want my jack back. So got this cover off. I can kind of see some dried, I want to say residue of oil, but it's not, to me it doesn't show the signs of the leak that I'm getting. Like, I don't know, I can't really see it from this side. Maybe once I get this tire off, I'm going to take the tire of this uh, right front tire or passenger front tire off so I could get to the oil filter so I could replace that seal for sure because that's the easiest one to get to. Hopefully it's that one. I'm not for sure, but I need to take this wheel off. First, I need to drain the oil and stuff first. So I'm going to get that going. This is what I'm seeing. See how it's just wet right there? It's just wet all under there. You can see right there is a little drip coming down. So hopefully it's the oil filter gasket that's coming off this and getting all this moisture down here. Because this is where the only place I'm seeing really the moisture of that is making this drip. So, just little by little, just gotta work out the problems and we'll find the solutions. So the bracket behind it right there is uh, where that O-ring goes. But you can see all this pan right here is wet from oil and then goes up. Focus, focus. But you can see that it's wet going up that way. So my guess is it's not that. Still gonna replace that though because I'm right here. But it looks like it's more up in the motor. So there is the filter. I did a little quick clean on it. Just used a, didn't have any 
spray cleaner, which I recommend. So what I did, and I use some uh, lawnmower gasoline. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go to today's market with gasoline and stuff. Yeah, I bought this when it was a buck something a couple years ago. So it needs to be used because gas is pretty much only good for a couple years until until it starts to turn into a gelatin itself. Because gas has a shelf life. All right, the uh, oil filter seal and the filter itself is back on. I still don't think that was the problem. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to dig deeper into this. And torque it down. Once I find an extension. It's not the extension I was looking for, but it works. It's going to be a little bit different. Alright, so doing more little looking around in here. I have an o-ring for the valve frost um, yeah, valve frost seal which is right there. Looking around it I don't see any wet oil on but I'm seeing a lot of oil build up right here around the front valve cover. So my guess is is that front valve cover because the back one looked clean so unfortunately, instead of being what I was hoping the easy one, at least it's not the back one. The back one looks clean. It's the front the one that looks awful. So unfortunately for me, that's a little bit more work than I was hoping, but it is what it is. Need to fix it. So let's bust through this. Um, I'm going to kind of just fly through it just so I get it done. It's 9 p.m. Um, just stuff of the family came up. So I'm gonna knock this out, listen to Millennial Money. It's a good thing to be, what's it called? Stay learning about financial literacy. So I'm gonna start just cranking on through this. So let's get this done. Alright, morning, back again, watched more videos on how to take these stupid spark plug seals out, and pretty much it's just, you gotta hammer them out from the top side, you catch this lip, and you just 
hammer it down through and then they pop out so get, so glad I just so glad the wife told me to let's just go to bed watch some more videos and just go from there instead of me just getting frustrated Love last you, night which I did. Love you too buddy. So now it's time to get the new seals in and continue the process of putting this seal back together. I got five new seals on these, new seals on the valve head itself. You know, every mechanic out there is cringing by what I'm calling them, but I'm not a mechanic. I only really started, I guess you could say, digging into cars this year. Probably not digging into the cars. This is main maintenance scene. My own cars. Got tired of paying thousands of dollars to go have somebody do something that I just need to spend time to learn how to do. So don't need someone to do it in the future. There. The other place that was absolute mess was the oil cap itself. So. I don't know if it's coming from the oil cap, but it was disgusting around it. So it might be something I look into replacing too. As, yeah. Or is this my fault not putting the oil cap all the way on? And that's why there's a little bit of a leak. If that was the leak, I would be completely upset with myself. points of reinstalling everything so let me go ahead and just muscle through that like I did with the disassembly just so hopefully it's back together
now that hopefully, fingers crossed, engine's done, I got one more thing I could do on the Honda. And that is to fix this tail light. It went out on us the other day. And so I'm gonna do a quick little go through that. I replaced the right side one not too long ago. Go up here. Do it more eye level. Alright, so I replaced the passenger side light not too long ago, but now the driver's side light went out on us. So, so tools need is pretty much a screwdriver. And that's because well you got these two screws right here, and that'll kind of just pop off. So let's get that going. The neighbors are re-roofing their house, so you might see them up there. One screw. Two screw. Should just kind of a pop. Ow. There it is. It has two little pop sockets right here and right here. Looks like that one kind of stayed in. That one kind of came out with it. Oh well. And then it has these two screw holes right here. And that's the one I got to get outside. It's just a little twist and replace the bulb on it. I don't know if you can really see that, but you can see how it's blackened. It's because the very top, it's like the top one popped on it. So. Blue bulb. Click fit in. So, there. List. There you go. Quick little fix to the lamp bulb. And 
car is in decent shape now. It's just, it needs a deep clean for mostly now. Kids, our kids, they're messy creatures. All right, now that all the mechanical stuff is done on the Honda, I'm just gonna do a quick vacuum over it, clean it up, do this wipe down on the inside, kind of a little bit of a detail. I'm not gonna get the steam cleaner out, or the, the portable steam cleaner out right now. Do it. Don't have that kind of time. I need to start getting dinner going. But thank you for watching the channel, and we'll see you next time.